A judge in Delaware has just sanctioned Fox News for withholding evidence in the Dominion defamation lawsuit. The move comes after the same judge ruled that Fox could not argue newsworthiness as a defense for broadcasting false information about Dominion voting machines. This case is supposed to go to trial in a matter of days. Joining me now is NBC News Digital senior reporter Jane Tim. So, Jane, let me ask you first about this sanction. Uh, what's going on? So the judge uh, heard evidence that was not turned over to lawyers in court today. Dominion lawyers brought a recording that Abby Grossberg, who is that producer who says her, that her deposition was coerced and that she was intimidated by lawyers to try and protect Fox, um, that she had on her honor this app that lots of reporters use to record conversations and get a transcript of it, that she turned over this evidence, but that the lawyers themselves did not turn it over to Dominion as they were required. So when the judge heard this evidence, he was pretty miffed uh, and essentially sanctioned Fox and, and said, look, you know, I may take even further action, but uh, essentially said if, if Dominion needs another deposition, we're going to you're going to have it and that Fox is going to have to pay for it. And that was the sanction here. And he might appoint a special master. Yeah, so he said that he might appoint a special master to investigate sort of what happened here, how there's this surprise evidence. You know what, Judge Davis made it really clear even weeks ago, he didn't want some smoking gun evidence to come in days before trial. And it, it sounds like that's potentially what has happened. I haven't heard the recordings myself, um, so I don't know what there's being said, but there's definitely evidence that they say wasn't turned over and absolutely should have been. Let me ask you about this other ruling that came yesterday about what they can and cannot argue in court. So uh, part of what we had heard about Fox's defense was that when they were airing these claims about Dominion voting, voting machines about the election, that they were claims the president was making, so they were newsworthy, and that was why that they ha why they had to cover them. Obviously, they covered it in a much different way. Covered it is even a strong word. They did it in a much different way than every other news organization did. Um, when the judge rules, they cannot argue newsworthiness. What does that do to Fox's defense? What other defense do they have? You know, it severely limits the, their defense. I mean, they can still argue that the Constitution protects them, that the First Amendment is involved here, but even that was limited. Um, and, and I will say that it's not completely removed from how they're going to talk about this. There's going to be witnesses who say we did this because it was newsworthy. But he said the lawyers cannot go argue this as a legal argument. So he said, stay away from the word newsworthy in your opening arguments this next week. Uh, but they can, it's going to come up. You're going to hear conversations of newsworthy in trial at least. So this is going to trial. What day does it begin? Uh, it's scheduled to begin on Monday. Of course, there's always, uh, could be a delay. There's a lot of fascinating pieces right now, Katie. But uh, I'll be there waiting in court. <laughs> All right, Jane, thank you very much.